Today's a travel day, and we we're going to Spain, and that will be that will be the final destination. <sighs> With some stops along the way, probably. So it looks like we've arrived in Tirana. Tirana, is that how you say that? Yeah, Tirana. Hey! Yeah, it's a uh, capital city here in Albania, and I have a flight that leaves to Greece. It's a Sometime in the next few days. Right? All right, yeah, month 11. It's here. We're in the airport in Tirana, going to Spain. Kayla, what are you, what are you doing? No, I'm gone. I'm trying to get to Spain as fast as I can. I think it's really crazy that we're actually in month 11 now. Or at least going to month 11. A lot, a lot of things have happened in the last 11 months. I played with a lot of kids and I taught English. I preached and I had a mental breakdown. A couple of mental breakdowns, if I'm honest here. We've gotten malaria. We went to three different continents. And now it's coming to an end. So, yeah. I think my goal for month 11 is I just want to like end this well, bring this to a conclusion, to an end point, really just, does Paul say something about ending the race well? Who? Paul, the apostle. Oh, the um. <laughs> I want to do that. I want to end this race well. Quote Bible verse here. Guess we're getting off the airplane. Move! Please. Of all the things I've done on the race, this is what takes the game. This wouldn't be the worst place to get stuck. We're not going to stop. <laughs> Alright, I would not recommend doing this at home. I don't think you can do this at home. You can only do this in Greece, but we're going to the Parthenon. We've decided we're gonna just make it happen. Right. We have a small way over here. Too small. And uh, yeah. we are gonna make the best use of our time. Ah! <laughs> So I, I think it's appropriate at this point to kind of say like how did I get to this place? I think that story starts all the way at the beginning of why I picked this route. Oh wow. Actually I applied for the world race twice. I don't know if I've ever said this before on the vlog but I'm gonna say it now. I applied for the world race twice and I got denied the first time. So I was sitting in my small group and a woman gave me a prophetic word that she saw me in Ukraine, in Romania, with a guy with a blonde and a bald-headed dude, kind of, sort of. And I told her to stop. I didn't want to hear anymore. Like, God had already said no to the world race, and I didn't want to move forward. And she says, it's okay. God will still love you no matter what. But just so you know, like, this is what I saw. I was like, okay. So I finally have a moment in church where God finally, like, comes down and visibly starts saying, like, you need to go on the world race again. So I apply, I get accepted, so I looked over the route, there's only one route that's going to Ukraine and Romania. So I went with that one. So I went on this route, this particular world race route, because of prophetic word, because it was the only one going to Ukraine and Romania. And I went to those countries. Where are my friends? I need to get an Instagram picture here. Is it really cool? It's amazing. Look at that. Look at that! I'm looking. We were just casually here because we had a flight. So we came. Now we're here. There's that. And there's that view. And then there's the one way over there. And then if you just keep if you just keep turning. Just worth it. Worth every penny. Every rush minute back to the airport that I'm sure we're gonna do. <laughs> I, I can't believe we just did that. That was awesome. <laughs> I can handle your lap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Barcelona. 
Please keep your response until the space has been shut down. So you're taking bags first? Yeah, we're gonna take bags. Okay, I will go get the people. What is this? What is going on? This is weird, man. <laughs> Month one, where did you sleep? <laughs> we started in the huts and now we're here. <laughs> we started in Cambodia, actually at a student center for the underprivileged youth. And where are you ending in month 11? Ah, oh, my mansion in Spain, off the coast of Barcelona. And uh, it's 300 years old. And really kind of creepy, but kind of in a cool way because it's still a mansion. So yeah, we got a pool, basketball court. We got a pool table, if you're into billiards and whatnot. Um, tennis court, a few stories. One of the stories is that the place is haunted, the other story is that it isn't. No, I'm just kidding, there's actually two stories to the building. Kind of a dumb part, but... <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. It's beautiful here. Okay. Month 11. We're in Spain. What does that look like? So we have three different sections, three different weeks. We spend the first 10 days in Barcelona. We're doing 10 days then on the Camino, and then five days, final debrief in Mijas. I think that's in Spain somewhere. But we really have no game plan, except for walking the Camino, that's a game plan. But it's really kind of like an all squad, do your own thing. What do you want this month to be? So it's super world racy at the point of like, if you have an idea, do it. We're gonna help you in that 100%. Currently, we're not in Barcelona, though. We're really close. In this weird old mansion. Do we know anything about this mansion? They told me it was like 300 years old. And we shouldn't break anything. This. This is one hell of a way to end the world race. I'm about to go to bed. It's been a really long day. Yes, my light is my phone. Don't judge me. Don't judge me at all. I see you judging. Don't do that. In fact, instead of doing that, you should go like, subscribe. Do you think you do? I will see y'all later. I'll probably need to show you this house. All right, I'll catch you on the flip side. There's also a picture upstairs in one of the bedrooms. That's really, really creepy.